What's up everyone, it's Dark Kitty here, and today I will be reading chapter 15 out of 18 of the Crash Bandicoot fanfic that I wrote called Cursed. And I'm sorry if I may cough at times, I kind of run out of breath at times, so. Anyways, on to chapter 15. Unlike Baron, Phenomena was a very humid place. Little Norm was sitting on top of his house, listening to whatever Lyra had to say. Big Norm was sitting on the sandy ground, talking to his daughter Ashley. Lyra and Little Norm hopped down from the house when they saw Cortex and his lean approach. Big Norm and Ashley saw them well as well and stood up abruptly. We will win this challenge and have your souls, said Big Norm. He and his brother had already been told about the challenge. It seemed that Crunk had been the only one who wasn't told for some reason. Be careful, Dad, said Ashley. Don't worry, Squirt, Big Norm said. He looked at Little Norm. Come on, brother, let's go. They walked to the racetrack in front of the starting line, waiting to race. This would be a race they would never forget. I guess it's time for me to go, Cortex said. Good luck, again, Aisling said. I will, I always am. He stepped on a warp pad and was teleported to Norm's track, which was called Out of Time. He stepped into his cart. This race would be much different. Instead of racing one person, he would be racing two people, Big Norm and his brother Little Norm. There used to be just one person who could turn into two people, but that changed when Lyra accidentally attacked Little Norm all those years ago. The light above them turned green. They slammed the accelerator, going as fast as they could. There were five laps in the race this time. It seemed like with each race they went to, another lap was added. That would make it a bit more challenging. But of course, this was one of Emperor Velo's challenges. The first four laps did not have any traps, but the fifth one did. That made it trickier than before. Each time Cortex tried to drive through the clock that was in the air, the hands on it were moved da- downward, knocking Cortex's cart backwards. It did the same thing to Little Norm and his brother. Cortex decided to duck to dodge them. He had barely missed the hands on the clock, but he made it out without a single scratch. The Norm brothers saw his technique and did the same thing. Little Norm made it out of there, but Big Norm was knocked backwards again because of how tall he was. Cortex looked behind him and didn't see the two brothers anywhere. He smoked and headed for the finish line. Little Norm appeared by his side, but Big Norm had not caught up, caught up with them. Both of the brothers had to win in order for Cortex to lose, but it looked like he would win this round. He usually always won races after all. Cortex passed Little Norm and crossed the finish line. He stepped out of his cart and cheered. (coughs) Little Norm also stepped out of his cart. He was rather disappointed that he lost, but it was his brother's entire fault. If he had not been so tall, then he and Big Norm probably would have won. Won! But this was good for Cortex. This brought he and Aisling closer to getting the Emperor's wand. Big Norm had not shown up yet. Cortex didn't say anything to Little Norm and was teleported back to Phenomena. Lyra and Ashley were still standing there in front of the Norm brothers' house. I won, said Cortex. As usual, Aisling said. They both looked at Lyra and Ashley. They looked rather upset. What's wrong? Are you upset that we won and they lost? Ashley simply nodded. Lyra's eyes grew red with fury. She was more ups- more than just upset. She was downright furious. She thought her husband and her brother-in-law would win, but she was sadly mistaken. Where are they? Lyra asked in a rather unpleasant voice. They're still out there on, on the racetrack, Cortex said. And no, they're not still trying to catch up. Big Norm never caught up with us, so I guess Little Norm is waiting for him. Ashley chuckled. <laughs> Did he get stuck in the clock again? She asked. I guess so. Anyway, me and Aisling are going to Techni to race Geary. Take care, you two. We will, Lyra said, or at least we'll try to. Cortex and Aisling used one of the world portals in Kobold to go to Techni. Geary was nowhere in sight. He must have been building robots like he always did. That was what he did in his free time, but he was... But he was about to race an earthling. His time wouldn't be so free now. Okay, guys, that's in chapter 15. I, again, I'm real sorry for all that coughing I probably did. Like I said, I get out of breath sometimes. Anyways, hope you enjoyed chapter 15. Please like and subscribe.